Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 7, chapter 6, data handling, exercise 6.1. Before going to the exercise, let us see some definitions and examples. See now what is data? The information which collected either in the form of numbers, words or pictures is called data. The method of collecting information is divided into two different types namely primary data and secondary data. Now let us see what is primary data. See now first one primary data. The data collected directly through personal experiences, interviews, direct observations, physical testing etc. is called primary data. It is also described as raw data. Let us see an example. Marks noted in the personal marks register of a teacher etc. These come under primary data. Now let us see secondary data. See now second one what is secondary data. Secondary data is the information which has been collected in the past by someone else used by the investigator for his own purpose. The sources of secondary data are books, journals, newspapers, websites, etc. Let us see example. Collection of village population details from census register. See now. Measures of central tendency. By using a central tendency value, we can summarize the given data. Different forms of data need different forms of representative values or central tendency values to describe it. There are three types of measures of central tendency of data namely first one arithmetic mean, second one mode and third one median. Now let us see what is arithmetic mean. See now arithmetic mean or average. The most common measure of central tendency of a group of data is Average or arithmetic mean. Let us see an example. Marks secured by two students in different subjects are Samreen got 32, 37, 25, 49, 36 and 31 marks in different subjects. Next Sujata got 45, 42, 22, 34, 36 and 43 marks in different subjects. Now we have to find who performed well. Let us see the solution. Average or arithmetic mean that equals to total marks in all subjects by number of subjects. Now let us find arithmetic mean of Samreen and Sujata's marks. See now arithmetic mean of Samreen marks that equals to 32 plus 37 plus 25 plus 49 plus 36 plus 31 by number of subjects that is 6 subjects. That equals to sum of all these 6 subject marks is 210 by 6. That equals to 6 table 210 is 35 times. See now arithmetic mean of Sujata's marks. That equals to 45 plus 42 plus 22 plus 34 plus 36 plus 43 by number of subjects that is 6 subjects. That equals to sum of all 6 subject marks is 222 divided by 6. That equals to 6 table 37 times 222. So, if we observe the arithmetic mean of both students, Sujata got 37, here Samrin got 35. By observing that, we can say Sujata performance is better than Samrin. Therefore, we can say that arithmetic mean is equal to sum of observations by number of observations. See now example 1. Midday meal that is MDM taken by the students in 6 days are 132, 164, 145, 182, 163 and 114. Find arithmetic mean of students who took MDM per day. Let us see the solution. We have to find arithmetic mean. So arithmetic mean equals to sum of observations by number of observations. Given observations for 6 days midday meal program taken by students. So we have entered all those 6 values sum by number of observations means how many observations they have given 6 values. 
So write down by 6 that equals to if we add all those values we got here some 900 by 6. Now we are going to divide 900 by 6. 6 table 6 ones are 6. 9 minus 6 3 get down the 0. 6 pies are 30. You will get reminded 0 add the 0 here. So we got here 150. So 900 divided by 6 we got answer 150. Therefore on an average or arithmetic mean each day 150 students had midday meal. See note, arithmetic mean of given data always lie between the highest and lowest observations of given data. See now, check your progress. Find the arithmetic mean of first 3 multiples of 5. Let us see the solution. First 3 multiples of 5 are 5, 10 and 15. Arithmetic mean equals to sum of observations by number of observations that equals to sum of 3 multiples of 5 that is 5 plus 10 plus 15 by number of observations that is 3 values so write down by 3 that equals to 5 plus 10 15 15 plus 15 that is 30 by 3 3 table 30 is 10 times so we got here answer as 10 therefore arithmetic mean of first 3 multiples of 5 is 10. See now exercise 6.1 first sum. Find arithmetic mean of the following. First one 4, 5, 11, 8. Let us see the solution. Arithmetic mean means sum of observations by number of observations. That equals to sum of the given numbers 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 11, 20, 20 plus 8, that is 28. By number of observations means 4 values given by 4. So here sum of observations is 28 by Number of observations is 4. So 28 by 4. 4 table 28 is 7 times. So the answer is here 7. See now second one 10, 15, 21, 12, 17. Let us see the solution. Arithmetic mean equals to sum of observations by number of observations. That equals to sum of given observations. That is 10 plus 15, 25. 25 plus 21, 46. 46 plus 12, that is 58. 58 plus 17 that is 75 by number of observations that is 5 observations there. So write down by 5 that equals to 75 by 5. 5 table 15 times 7. 75. So the arithmetic mean is 15. See now first question third sum 1 by 4. 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 3 by 2 and 5 by 4. We have to find arithmetic mean that equals to sum of observations by number of observations. That equals to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 plus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 2 plus 5 by 4 by number of observations that is 5 values were there. So divided by 5. Now we have to do LCM for this fraction. So, 4 into we are going to do LCM. 2 table, 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. So, LCM is 2 into 2 that is 4. Now, the LCM value is 4. Let us buy 4. See here denominators 4 table 4 is 1 time. Multiply that value for the numerator. So, 1 into 1, 1 plus 2 table 4 is 2 times. So, multiply 2 by numerator. So, 1 into 2, 2 plus 4 table 4 one time. So multiply with numerator. So 1 into 3 that is 3 plus 2 table 4 is 2 times. So multiply 2 for the numerator. So 3 2 is 6 plus 4 table 4 is one time. Multiply with numerator. So 5 into 1 is 5. We have written 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 by 4. Here denominator 5 is there. See here divided by 5. Here 5 below no value is there. We have written by 1. Now add these values 5 plus 6 11, 11 plus 3 14, 14 plus 2 16, 16 plus 1 17 by 4 divided by 5 by 1. That equals to 17 by 4. Division symbol change it as into and write on the reciprocal of 5 by 1 that is 1 by 5. That equals to now multiply numerator. 17 into 1, 17 by denominators multiply 4 into 5, 20. So the answer is 17 by 20. Therefore, arithmetic mean is 17 by 20. See now second question. Amounts donated by 8 students to Niva cyclone affected people are 
थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड रुपीज सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रुपीज नेक्स्ट नाइन हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड एट हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रुपीज फाइंड द अथमेटिक मीन ऑफ अमाउंट डोनेटेड लेट अस सी द सोल्यूशन अथमेटिक मीन इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेश बाय नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेश दैट इक्वल्स टू एड ऑल द गिवेन वैल्यूज दैट इज थ्री हंड्रेड प्लस फोर फिफ्टी प्लस सेवन हंड्रेड प्लस सिक्स फिफ्टी प्लस फोर हंड्रेड प्लस सेवन फिफ्टी प्लस नाइन हंड्रेड प्लस एट फिफ्टी बाय नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेश मीन एट वैल्यूज दे आर गिवेन सो डिवाइडेड बाय एट दैट इक्वल्स टू सम ऑफ ऑल दिस वैल्यूज इज फाइव थाउजेंड बाय एट एट टेबल सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव टाइम्स फाइव थाउजेंड देर फोर अर्थमेटिक मीन इज सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपीज देर फोर अर्थमेटिक मीन ऑफ अमाउंट डोनेटेड इज सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपीज See now third question the number of passengers who traveled in APSRTC bus from Eluru to Rangapuram in five trips in a day are 35 42 28 41 and 44 what is the average of number of passengers traveled per trip let us see the solution arithmetic mean or average both are same that equals to sum of observations by number of observations that equals to add the given values 35 plus 42 plus 28 plus 41 plus 44 by number of observations is 5 that equals to add all those given values that is 190 by 5 That equals to to five table thirty eight times one hundred and ninety. Therefore, arithmetic mean or average of number of passengers travelled per trip is thirty eight. See now question number four. Find arithmetic mean of factors of twenty four. Let us see the solution. Factors of twenty four we have to find one twenty four is a two twelve is a three eight is a four six is a twenty four. Next table six four is a twenty four eight three is a twenty four twelve two is a twenty four twenty four one is a twenty four. Therefore, factors of twenty four are all these numbers one comma two comma three comma four six comma eight comma twelve comma twenty four. Let us find arithmetic mean that equals to sum of observations by number of observations that equals to one plus two plus three plus four plus six plus eight plus twelve plus twenty four by number of observations is. Eight values. So by eight, that equals to sum of all these values is sixty divided by eight. Let us do division. Eight table eight sevens are fifty six. Sixty minus fifty six is four. Keep a decimal and add a zero. Now the value is forty. Eight fives are forty. So forty minus forty remainder is zero. So the answer is seven point five. Therefore, arithmetic mean of factors of twenty four is seven point five. See now question number five. Find arithmetic mean of x, x plus one and x plus two. Let us see the solution. Arithmetic mean equals to sum of observations by number of observations. That equals to add the given values. That is x plus x plus one plus x plus two by number of observations is one, two, three. Three values given. So add on by three. That equals to let us add x value. X plus x, two x, two x plus x, three x plus one plus two means three. So the value is three x plus three by three. That equals two. Let us take three common here. Then the value is three into x plus one by denominator three. Now three three cancel. The value is x plus one. Therefore, arithmetic mean is x plus one. Today we have seen Chapter Six, Data Handling, Exercise Six Point One, Definitions, Examples, and All Sums of Exercise Six Point One. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.